Zoom in to Ms. Hurd's face. Thank you, Tom. Ms. Hurd, this is another picture of you from that photo shoot, correct? Yes, this is the same photo shoot that you asked me about earlier, and this is um, several weeks later. Right. If we could zoom in on Ms. Hurd's face. Thank you, Tom. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 101. And I'm going to move to admit and publish. Any objection? Uh, can we just have the foundation first, please? This is a picture from the photo shoot, Ms. Hurd, that was taken on the island. This is the same photo shoot, yes. Then no objection, Your Honor. All right, 101 and evidence can publish. If we could please scroll, zoom in, excuse me, Tom, on Ms. Hurd's face. It's your testimony, Ms. Hurd, that you were wearing makeup for this photo shoot? That is correct. It's a photo shoot. Okay. If we could please pull up exhibit 102. Uh, Ms. Hurd, is this another picture from the photo shoot? I can't exactly tell from the background. It looks like it's the, the same thing, but I can't really tell without it being this zoomed is, out. This is a picture of you, though, right? It is a picture of me, yes. I'm going to move to admit and publish. All right. Any objection? I'm not going to object because she identified herself. I just, if she could identify uh, when it was taken, that would help. Please. But I'm not going to object. I'm not no, gonna object. no objection. No object. Okay, there we go. 102 in evidence. You publish. Uh, let's please pull up plaintiff's exhibit 103. 03. Ms. Hurd, this is yet another picture of you from that Greg Williams photo shoot, correct? That is correct. This is from the same shoot. I'm going to move to admit and publish. No objection. All right. 103 in evidence. Publish. And again, if we could zoom in on Ms. Hurd's face. And finally, if we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 104. Ms. Hurd, this is a picture of you from that photo shoot, correct? Again, this is the same photo shoot weeks later. Uh, I'm going to move to admit and publish. No objection, Your Honor. All right, 104 in evidence. Thank you. Again, if we could zoom in on Ms. Hurd's face. Thank you, Tom. You testified that you and Mr. Depp got into a fight while on the island in December of 2000. That's correct. And this all started because you perceived. Mr. Depp is nodding off during the trip, right? I thought he was passing out again in a similar fashion to what he had done uh, the previous year. And, and when he nodded off, he spilled wine on you, correct? Yeah, two, three times in a row. You testified that Mr. Depp's son, Jack, was there when this happened, right? At the beginning, he was there. He, he was there when Mr. Depp allegedly spilled wine on you two or three times, right? He was there for that because he offered me help. Right. You also testified that Mr. Depp then sexually assaulted you in the bathroom, correct? That's correct. And you testified that after this, you needed to get away from him, right? That is correct. So you ran out of the house? That's correct. And you admit you threw something at him, right? I did throw something in, at him to get away. You sat in this courtroom when Tara Roberts testified, right, Ms. Hurd? I did. She's Mr. Depp's manager on the island. 
Yes, that's correct. You heard her testify that she witnessed an argument between you and Mr. Depp on the island in December of 2015, right? I, yes, that's correct, yes. And you heard her testify that Mr. Depp was trying to escape you, right? I don't know if she, I don't know if she characterized it like that, but that was the gist of it. She, she kind of misrepresented then, it to seem like that, yes. She misrepresented it. How convenient. That's correct. Okay, and then you kept apologizing to Mr. Depp, right? That's what... No, that's Ms. not Robert said, begging him to come back to the house with you. That's not correct. Clawing at him. She used those words. That's not correct. When she interrupted us, Johnny had me by the hair. Yelling at him. We were screaming, both of us, but uh, I don't know what she um, would have heard. And that you, she observed an injury on Mr. Duff's nose from something that you threw at him, right? I don't know what she observed. You also heard Ms. Roberts testify that she included all this information in a sworn statement in the UK in May of 2020. Isn't that right? That is correct. You put in a witness statement in response to Ms. Roberts' statement in June of 2020. Isn't that correct? In the UK? Um, I made several, I did several, I think seven witness statements and each one contained different information as per recent filings. That's what counsel has you do in that. In and in that response to case. previous filings, correct? Including testimony from people that contradict your story? Sort of. So what you have to do is your counsel asks you to respond to things and you put it in a declaration of sorts. And that happens back and forth over the course of preparing to go to trial in that country. And that's what I did. So that was your fifth witness statement submitted in the UK. I don't recall which one I was asked to comment on Tara Let's, Roberts' testimony. I'll remind you. Um, if we could have Ms. Hurd's fifth witness statement from the UK. Can I approach her? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Thank you. Directing your attention is heard to page six of your fifth witness statement. It's here that you describe the December 2015 incident, correct, on the island? Uh, I haven't read through the statement. I just don't know if I had commented on it before in a previous witness statement. As I said, there were several. But starting on page six, Ms. Heard, you describe the incident that took place on the island, correct? That's correct. But what I'm trying to say is I'm not sure if I'd describe it in full okay. in this statement. Okay. I'm going to show you your confidential schedule to the fifth witness statement that accompanied the fifth witness statement in the UK. Can I approach? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. In the confidential schedule to your fifth witness statement, paragraph one on page 21, you describe Mr. Depp sexually assaulting you in the Bahamas of December 2015, right? That is correct. And that's the first time you ever claimed that Mr. Depp had sexually assaulted you in the Bahamas. That is incorrect. You only submitted the confidential schedule in the UK claiming Mr. Depp had sexually assaulted you after Ms. Roberts had said that she saw you on the island chasing, clawing at Mr. Depp. Isn't that correct? That is incorrect. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 394. 
So, Your Honor, um, this is another recording I can represent to the court. This only contains Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's voices. Um, I'm going to move to admit the entire recording. I'm only going to play from 1-1744 through 1-2002. All right, any objection? Uh, which, which plaintiff exhibit, Your Honor? 394. I, I think I have no objection. All right, Your Honor. I'll go with that. All right, 394 in evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. What things have you been doing? Work, working on this thing, you know, doing this sort of thing, trying to change something. Yes. Last several times. Hence, screaming when I spilled wine accidentally on you for falling asleep and screaming. kids and freaking Jack out and that's trying that fucked him up you know I'm sorry I fucked your son up no it, it weirded him out it never I'm so sorry I, I fucked your kids up he didn't fuck my kids up but it was pretty fucking, it was pretty fucking weird for him, you know? you and Mr. Depp in that recording, right? That's correct. Then you're discussing what happened in the Bahamas in December of 2015, right? Not a fair characterization of what happened. Mr. Depp says you screamed at him when he accidentally spilled wine on you, correct? I realize that's what Johnny said. Yeah. And Mr. Depp tells you that this freaked out his son, Jack. Johnny often used other people to back him up in our arguments. You don't seem too concerned about that, do you? I had a lot of concerns. You don't seem, you don't mention Mr. Depp sexually assaulting you in this recording, do you? That was not the point of that conversation. If I had gotten into the details of what happened to me with him, it would have been another fight. You just accused Mr. Depp of, quote, using his kids, right? And that record would often use other people, yes. And you challenge him to find a woman who will not, quote, jump up and scream if she has been spilled on three times in a row. That is correct. Not a woman who would put up with sexual abuse, right? I was pointing out uh, the ridiculous nature of him expecting me not to react to something that basic. Your Honor, would this be a good time for a break? I'm All right, we can do that. That's thank fine. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take our morning recess for 15 minutes. Do not discuss the case with anybody. Note any outside research. We'll see you in 15, okay?